Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Prosser, Managing Partner at Easton Digital, where we specialize in Google Shopping services for Shopify stores. We work with a lot of Shopify store owners, and we manage their advertising. Uh, we audit a lot of AdWords accounts, and we keep hearing the same issue, and that is keyword targeting for Google Shopping. A lot of people do not understand what it is, and so we want to record this short video to explain what that is. So let's say, for example, you sell Nike Air Max running shoes, okay? These are three keywords that people may use to find your product. So, you know, running shoes, Nike running shoes, Nike Air Max running shoes, okay? If you have one AdWords campaign or one uh, Google Shopping campaign in your AdWords account, you are essentially bidding the same in all three of these terms. That is a waste of money. You're, you're, you're not, uh, you're probably underbidding for this term and you're probably overbidding for this term, okay? So let's say, for example, your conversion rate on this is 1%. Let's say on this this term it is, I don't know, let's just say 5%. Okay. Based on this conversion amount, you can afford theoretically to bid a lot more. Well, on this one, you know, maybe it's only 50 cents. Okay. You don't want to bid the same amount on Nike Air Max as you do running shoes. So that's why we use keyword targeting for Google Shopping. We break up these campaigns these terms into different campaigns so we could bid differently okay so theoretically how that works is let's just say that this is a high campaign high priority so you use your priority settings in Google Shopping to um, to have this uh, as your high campaign which all the traffic comes into first now let's say with Nike running shoes we want to add a negative keyword to this campaign and that forces anybody that searches for this down to this campaign. So let's say your conversion rate's uh, two and a half percent and we want to bid a dollar. Okay, applying the negative keyword to this high priority campaign forces it to go down to this campaign. And this one is going to be at mid priority. Okay. Now let's say that this traffic, someone searches for Nike Air Max running shoes. Best of the best traffic. It's really good quality traffic. We're going to add a negative keyword to this. And we're going to add a that same negative keyword to this. Okay. And we then are going to change this to a low priority. Okay, so what that means is when someone does a search and Google thinks your product is eligible to show, if they use the term running shoes, that traffic will stay right here in this campaign. High priority, it hits it first, it's top of funnel. Your average bid will be 50 cents, okay? If they use the term Nike Air Max running shoes, it'll go because of the negative keyword, it'll skip this high priority campaign, it'll skip the mid campaign, and go to the low campaign where we have a bid of $1.50. Okay? This is essentially keyword targeting for Google Shopping. Some people call it uh, search and targeting. Some people call it ISO targeting uh, or ISO campaigns for Google Shopping. But it's all the same and it can be very, very helpful uh, in maximizing your profitability, maximizing your ad placements uh, with your Google Shopping ads. So definitely recommend using uh, this strategy, uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know. My, direct, my email address is kurt at eastindigital.com, and uh, we'd be happy to help if you have any other questions. Thanks.